welcome back everybody it's time for the five on the dime challenge this month and um, this month it was Angela Kerr's turn to decide our five items and Angela chose uh, stencil butterflies napkin sewing and sari ribbon so this is what I came up with as uh, my project uh, I don't know if if some of you are new to the channel or new to this uh, challenge, um, we don't limit it to those five product, um, you know, five items that we've chosen. Um, it's just that those have to be incorporated in it somehow. So, I just took some book pages, created you know two pockets here, and then this will go <clears throat> on a journal page. And if you glue it right, you can have a third pocket. So I've got my book page, which. Um, the things that were in it, I did some stenciling. It's very subtle, but it is there. <laughs> um, this is the napkin I've decoupaged. The sewing around. And then the sari silk, I've just punched two holes and put uh, the ribbon through there and tied it off. So um, you've got the little butterflies here and then obviously in the napkin. So there it is. Now I'm just going to stop the camera and I'll be back to show you how I made this. Okay guys, so let's just get started. Um, I have gone ahead and cut down the book pages and sewn. So that's where we're at at this point. So now I'm going to go ahead and decoupage the napkin on there. The last time I did this on the camera I, f I forgot the, uh, <laughs> to take all the layers off them. The one little piece so hopefully I'm a little more organized this time yeah some of these only have two And then I know I'm going to have these layered, so I'm not going to worry about that one. I will put a bit on this.
I don't know how much of this one's going to show, but I'll go ahead and put it on there just in case we can see a little bit of it, maybe. Okay, I'm going to let these dry and I'll be back. Okay guys, I have now had the chance to dry those, and that's how they're looking. Let's get a little bit there. Um, so, what I'm thinking is I want them to be posi positioned somewhere around there. So I'll go back over that with a machine, but now we have to stencil. So let me get a little bit of ink and I'm just going to do a little bit of stenciling because there's not a lot of area to cover but I'm hoping that just a little bit in the background will add to that. Let's see, I'm going to make sure I get a really nice Yeah, I kind of like that one there. Okay. So I'll just do a little bit here, and I think that's really all it needs. Okay. Actually, I'll put a little bit on that corner just to try to balance it a bit. So I've got everything on that side. <laughs> There we go. So hopefully, and then I will come back and ink around the edges. So yeah. Okay, at this point, we've got the stencil, we've got the butterfly, done sewing. So it's just the sorry ribbon now. So I'm going to take this over to the machine, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. I've stitched those together, so now we've got two pockets, and then this will be ready to go in on the page. So now I just want to add the sorry, um, let me just measure this. I just want to make sure I get those even as best I can.
right, let's see. What else do we need? Let me grab... And again, these were uh, freebies from Artie Mays' site, so you can never have too many butterflies. So I love these. I'm so grateful that she's done this. Sorry, you have to watch this. I should have had it all prepped, but uh, I'm just kind of uh, running out of time. <clears throat> I've got several things due, and uh, I just didn't have time to prep this. So if you want to just fast forward on, feel free. It's a bit boring to watch somebody fussy cutting. <laughs> And I think this, um, the way the colors have come out on this, this to me <coughs> has a feel of autumn. So I'm going to probably be using this in a um, journal I'm working on for Artie Mays with her new kit. So I'm thinking this this will probably fit in nicely on one of those pages. Sorry, you're probably hearing the television in the background. I uh, forgot to shut it off this morning. Let me just get one more. I like to do things in threes. down and get that shut off here in a minute because I can't stand to listen to uh, chatter all day. I don't mind it if it's, you know, sometimes I'll put like a, a series on in the background, but when people start um, arguing between each other and talking over each other, oh, it gets on my nerves. I just, uh, I'm, I'm not a person that enjoys that kind of television. <laughs> Okay, let me ink those edges up just a bit. Okay, let me just grab a little bit of cheesecloth. <clears throat>
just get a bit more glue under there. That one didn't get quite enough. Make sure those are glued down really well, so that because I like the wings to um, need to be able to move those. Okay, now the other thing. Let me just do a little bit of inking around the edges. Yeah. I, can definitely see this in uh, that autumn journal. Okay guys, there it is. That's the project completed for the uh, Five on the Dime Challenge this month. and. Um, Thank you so much, Angela, for choosing those items. Um, it definitely uh, pushes us outside of our comfort zone. And, as you know, I don't uh, like to decoupage that much, but it it's good to be pushed to do these things more because the more I do it, the more... I mean, I love the look of decoupage for sure, uh, but the more you do it, the you know, the more you start to enjoy it. So... I hope you guys have liked that project, and uh, do check out everybody else. They've got some awesome projects. They always do. There's Each of the artists are so talented, so uh, make sure you check them out, and I will see you uh, next month. Take care. Bye.